Now suppose there's a string and there's a bob attached to that string and this is undergoing a vertical circular motion. Like this. Fine. First of all, if you suppose, if we provide an impulse to the bob, if we hit the bob with a bat or whatever, the bob will gain some velocity. Due to that velocity, it will move up. And tied to the string, it cannot go very far. So it will go round and round in a circle. So the first thing is, first question is, will this, this circular motion will be a uniform circular motion or a non-uniform circular motion? The answer is the circular motion will be a non-uniform circular motion because the velocity will keep on decreasing because the bob is going up it is gaining some potential energy it's a it's not on a horizontal plane it's in the vertical plane so it's going up gaining some potential energy so the total energy would be conserved so kinetic energy would keep on decreasing that means the velocity would keep on decreasing okay so if velocity is changing, the magnitude of velocity, velocity obviously will change, but the magnitude of velocity, the speed will keep on decreasing. If the speed is changing, then the circular motion is not a uniform circular motion. Okay, now at any intermediary stage, let's consider a situation where uh, suppose this angle is theta, right? Now, if we have to write the equation for circular motion, then there is some tension radially inward and there is mg. So the net force radially inward is T minus mg cos theta, right? This will be equal to mv square upon r. This is the equation for circular motion. For centripetal force, this is a net centripetal force and this should be equal to mv square upon r. Now you can see that when the body, when the bob, when the mass is in the lower half of the circle, then tension will never ever be zero. Tension cannot be zero. Because even if the velocity becomes zero, velocity vanishes, all the kinetic energy converts into potential energy, still if the right hand side is zero, still. T will be equal to mg cos theta. Tension is not going to be zero, right? This is important. In the lower half of the circle, the tension cannot become zero and this will be very important result as we study a little more on this. In the lower half of the circle, tension cannot be zero. Okay? Now, the body, the bob, the mass will remain in the circular path only if T is greater than equal to zero during the course of mathematical calculation if we find the value of tension as a negative number then that means that is not possible tension cannot come as negative tension will always be a positive number if tension is coming out negative that means the bob has left the circular path the bob is no more moving in a circular path suppose it is possible that we hit this bob the bob goes all the way up up and then it comes down it comes down in any other path not in a circular path it is very possible and you must have experienced something like this so that means there would be a particular condition for which this bob will complete the circular path right that condition would be this tension should not become zero it can become zero but it should not become less than zero you know in in the in We'll, we'll see that when the bob comes at the top, momentarily for that moment, the tension can become zero. But that will be only at the top. If any at, at any other path, if the tension becomes zero before coming to the top, then what would happen? S can think of it that bob is no more attached to the string. And the bob still has some velocity. At this point, suppose the bob has reached and the tension becomes zero. Then the velocity if this is the velocity, then the bob will go. This is the component of velocity, right? Now the bob will go horizontally and vertically in this direction. 
If the tension is zero, that means the bob is like not attached to the string. It will have an independent motion of its own. So if it covers a horizontal direction like this, then it will come out of the circular path. Right? So the bob will remain in the circular path only when there is some tension. Otherwise, the bob will come out of the circular path. This is the important condition for the bob to remain in the circular path if the tension is greater than or equal to zero. Right? Now, all we have to do is to see that tension becomes zero at the topmost point and apart from that tension do not become zero at any other point. If we can satisfy this then we can satisfy the condition that the bob after being hit at the lower, lowest most point will complete the circular path and it will not come out of the circular path. Now for that let's see at the topmost point tension can momentarily become zero because at the topmost point if the tension becomes zero and the bob still have some velocity then as it goes ahead the tension will build up again so tension will immediately catch up as the bob goes to its left the tension can become zero momentarily at the top so at the top if there is no tension then the only force is mg and mg is acting downward. Now that's the only force on the bob and this force must act as centripetal force. So mg should be equal to m, I'm writing vt for the velocity at the top, mv squared upon r. If this is satisfied, then fine, then it can complete the circular path because if it has reached to the top, it will come down and it will complete the circular path. So this is the condition for the velocity at the top. So the velocity at the top should be equal to root over g into r. This should be the minimum velocity at the top. If the velocity is less than this, then actually some part of mg which can be used for circular path can act as centripetal force but the rest of the mg will pull it down then it will come out of the circular path so velocity at the top should be at least this this is the minimum value of the velocity at the top so velocity at the top should be at least root gr for the bob to complete circular path. Now if the velocity at the top is root gr then the velocity at the bottom with what velocity should you hit it so that at the top it gains velocity of root gr. That can be calculated very easily with conservation of energy. The velocity at the bottom let me call that as vb half m vb squared is the kinetic energy at the bottom mgh height is 2r when it reaches at the top this is the potential energy gained by the bob and it also has kinetic energy half mv square so from here we see that the velocity at the bottom should be root over 5gr this is the minimum velocity at the bottom with which the bob should be hit this is the minimum velocity with the bob should start from the bottom that is root 5gr so that the bob would complete the circular path